last record was really coming a coming out of like this is Alter Bridge, this is what we stand for, and I think this new album just solidifies that completely. And they're very confident in who they are, and I think it's going to show in the tracks. I think people will not be disappointed. I didn't want to have to compromise, or any any of us to have to compromise in any way to make this thing commercial. I wanted it to be 100% artistic. This is our third studio record as Alter Bridge. Um, I wholeheartedly believe it that you know each one gets better. And, uh, and I think this one will, will certainly not be an exception. Overall, I think this record is just, it's really shaping up to be something that, um, something that we've all st strived for for a long time. And I think this is really going to reflect on uh, where the band's been and, and where we're going. I mean, it's so different this time around because even on the last record, I had ideas sure, of, of yeah. harmony. But this is all just... This record is very, 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 very uh, deep lyrically. I think the lyrics mean a lot, a, a lot to Miles personally. Miles has been working tirelessly on uh, writing. I shouldn't say tirelessly because he's probably pretty tired, but he's been uh, working nonstop on them, and he's a he's a perfectionist. He's a great lyricist. But still, it is gone. I, I'm almost there on the first line. It's, just, it's a real tough thing to say. It's I finally found somebody in, in this world that stresses about his parts more than I do. I've always considered myself, more than anything, a writer. Songwriting, by far, over the last 25 years, is what I've invested the most time in. We, we actually did this record pretty quick, from the, uh, the amount of time that we had to write it, um, record it, and then now that we're sort of about to finish it up, it's only been two and a half, three months. You know, from the very start of us getting together and going, all right, we got to do a new, a new record. Kind of just uh, take different parts, you know, as they are, and, and um, kind of try to piece piece things together. So we tracked um, tracked 17 songs. The bass I tracked in four days. The drums we did in four days. So it's been a pretty pretty busy week. I've been working uh, for about 12 till 7 every day. I'll go home, hand Miles the keys. He'll come in and work from 8 till till three in the morning or something. Non-stop work to get this thing done. It's getting, it's getting, just getting down to crunch time right now. Actually, the frame of the record is coming out, you know, it's just starting um, starting to develop. Um, and we're really starting to hear the sounds and get get a good picture of what it's gonna be like, and it's pretty exciting. Nine more vocals to sing, all the harmonies to get, a couple more leads out of Mark, and uh, I guess one more lead out of you, really. Yep. And uh, four oh, out of, four out of Miles. Every time you add something to the song, if it's, if it's, you know, I've done drums, Brian's done bass, Mark's gonna get done guitars, but maybe Miles hasn't done guitars yet. Well, once he adds his guitars to it, the song takes on a different shape, and then once he adds his vocals, takes on even a different shape, and then Mark does harmonies on top of that. Zero. So, on that note, um, does this sound better when I cut it short or keep it long? You know, we've worked with various producers through all of our careers. You know, Miles had, had worked with different producers uh, when he was doing Mayfield 4 stuff. We worked with different guys doing the Creed stuff. I liked it all but the last note from the... Most producers you work with try and simplify things push you in the commercial stuff, you know, and um, Elvis isn't like that, you know, he's very much into the going over the top and pushing Miles to belt out the, 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 the big high notes and the push for guitar solos. And He's young, he's energetic, he's got a million great ideas and a few not so great ideas, but we don't mind telling him that. He really seems to get what this band is about. Yeah, listen to the roughs. There's uh, one lead thing that I want to change. That's the uh, the middle riff in "For What May Never Come." You know, we we haven't had anyone from a record label or uh, anybody pretty much looking over our shoulders. This is this is our project. You know, there's just, there's nobody giving their two cents. I have a feeling this one might might uh, I'm not gonna say be my favorite vocally, but I just think I'm. 
I'm experimenting a lot more, and I've got these guys back here really helping helping me out a lot. So it's mm -hmm. it's been great. I think this record's even more um, uh, even more an artistic expression without any um, constraints. Yeah.